Welcome back to another video, guys. I just got back home for Thanksgiving, but for the last 10 days or so, me, Cole, and Nick have been out in Oklahoma hunting the rut. We got into a bunch of bucks out there and had some really, really exciting hunts. So on the next three videos, that's the trip that we're gonna be following along with. But before we get things rolling, we wanted to let you know that our Black Friday sale is going on right now. Everything is on sale with savings up to 40% off. Things are starting to sell out fast, so head over to thehuntingpublic.com and get you some merch before it's gone. The last time that we visited Oklahoma was back in 2020. Jake and myself went out there for about a week around this same time frame and we both ended up tagging bucks on some pretty fun hunts. So ever since then we've wanted to get back down there and this year we found some time to go do that. So, But hope you all have a good rest of your deer season and without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, we're going to the next state. I uh, rolled into Iowa last night with my buddy Mac. Ted's just behind us. Uh, he's gonna stop and get an oil change and then he's gonna head down there. But Nick's also gonna meet us there. So we're gonna have two groups of two and I believe we're gonna get two tags. So we're gonna be hunting a bunch of open terrain, open country. So we got two decoys with us and I'm guessing that's probably what our strategy is gonna be is just using the decoy, doing calling sequences. It's November 9th, so the rut should be in full swing where we're headed, and it should be a lot of fun. I heard your sleeping pad gave up on you. Yep. After about the third use. That'll happen on those big jobs. <laughs> How you feeling about your first day, honey? Hey, it's going, gonna go really good. I'm going to the X of all spots in this place, so shouldn't have a problem. Where'd you find that, Ben? During all my cyber scouting before I showed up yeah, there. Shit, you probably logged into my Onyx and saw that. Cyber no. scout, cyber scout, cyber scout. Cyber scout, cyber scout, cyber scout hunt. All right, we're uh, back on the road here. It's 640. The plan this morning is just to drive around and pop into spots and glass. I mean, you can pretty much cover all the ground you need to from the road. So just being on the road and moving spots quicker is probably gonna be more efficient for us. Saw that deer right off the road last night, so I'm assuming we'll be able to see these deer if they are up on their feet moving around, which they probably are. Ted and Nick are just up ahead of us. We're probably gonna split up, cut off a different direction. Try to get eyes on a good one. Nick and I have been sitting up on this high spot right there, glassing out into this bottom. This is where Cole saw a buck going across here yesterday afternoon and this morning. Nick and I drove by, saw a bunch of does out here. I think we saw five or six out here right off the road mid-morning today. So we decided to come in here, pop the decoy up out here where it's real visible all the way through here and just see what happens for the afternoon. Cole and Mac ended up in a different spot. They found a bunch of sign in the middle of the day today. So. We came over here to give this a try. This whole area is nothing but CRP and flat as a pancake throughout this whole piece. There's certain spots where there's patches of trees where there's thick cover, and then there's a bunch of patches where there's taller grasses as well. So there's lots of different transitions out here, just not as obvious as most places. We're kind of thinking that they might have worked their way back into some of this taller grass out here. It's about 100 yards from us, and their line of travel has been like this out towards the road. So we're just sitting here where we can, the only bit of elevation out here where we can see out through all this. We'll sit here for the afternoon and see if anything pops out. He's not 
our direction. He's not. He's looking back towards the car, kind of. Okay. Had a buck come by at like 300 yards out here. Came out of that thick stuff that we kind of thought there might be a walk down here. He was kind of looking this direction as he was walking through here and he dropped down in a drainage and then cut over to the right by a bunch of tall grass over here. We kind of lost track of him once he got around this hill, but it might not be too far. He was just meandering his way through there. We got about an hour left of daylight, so hopefully he heard that and he comes around back in. That's gonna do it for the night. All we saw was that one buck going out across that open. Other than that, it's been pretty slow, so we're gonna pack all our stuff up, grab a decoy, and then head back to the car and go back to camp. Come up with a game plan for the morning. But one, two, three, four. One's gotta be a buck. All running this way. Perfect. Yeah, there's a buck like 100 yards out here running. It's the second morning here. Nick and I just got to the very first spot to glass this morning. It's just getting the first light and I jumped up on top of the car and spotted five or six deer out here in this bottom ground like only 100 yards away or so and one was for sure a buck. I couldn't tell how big he was but he was running around with his nose down chasing does and stuff so looked like there might have been two bucks out there. So I grabbed my bow just in case I might jump back up on the car and look again but they weren't all that far out there. They were covering quite a bit of ground. Didn't run it up. <laughs> Our big guy's in there somewhere. We got two little bucks squaring off out here. Not, Not anymore. Oh, there's another deer running across the back again. Jeez. Well, we've had a pretty eventful morning so far. As soon as we got out of the car this morning, we've been watching deer non-stop running all over the place out there. There's a handful of them out this way, and quite a few of them back that way across the road we've been watching. But these deer out here have been running this edge of taller grass out here pretty much non-stop this morning. So we're gonna, we're gonna get out here, get in there amongst them, and see what we can do with them. Get in there with the decoy and stir, stir the pot. Yeah, let's get in there and mix it up. <laughs> Open country scrape every day. Freaking hell of a path they got beat down. <laughs> we uh, sat here for about an hour and a half. Just had that spike come in and we haven't seen anything since then. It's gotten pretty warm. We're gonna hike back out of here. Maybe go find another spot to glass, but I think first we're gonna go run into town and get us a little bite to eat. <laughs> Food, caffeine. <laughs>
90% sure we watched him lay down. He's a couple hundred yards up here. This wind is in our face right here, so we're just gonna take our time and try to get as close as we can. Kinda do the same thing we've been trying with the decoy and grunt and try to get him to come kill us. They just watched this area this morning and saw a nice buck, so it could be the same one. They also said there's a lot of does, so I won't be surprised if we run into deer on the way in here. But let's go kill. Let's just go cover to cover and try to get to that section. See this, Ted? We're out before you even move a muscle. We're leaving before you even move a muscle. <laughs> all talk last night, getting up at 4.30, that's all I heard. And here we are, 5.33 and we're on the road. You, your alarm hasn't even went off. Some people just want it more. And that's not you. It's morning of day three. We're all split up again. We're gonna try to get eyes on something. We're back in the same area that we hunted yesterday morning and then last light uh, yesterday. So we saw several shooter bucks. Hopefully we can get eyes on one and then the plan today is to just slip in probably with that decoy and either call or just get as close as we can and let the deer see that decoy and hopefully they're pissed off enough to come try to kill it. We're gonna get slip up here in glass and hopefully get eyes on a shooter at first light.
Well, we got closer than we've gotten so far. Just tried something new weird. That buck, we tried calling several different positions. He wasn't really having it. Kind of seemed like he wasn't that dominant of a buck. So then I just figured maybe he'll just let me walk right up to him with the decoy. But I got to like 100, 120 yards and he just kind of went the other way. What do you want to do? Would you shoot him with only on one side? Yeah. That's what I like to hear. It's like 9 o'clock in the morning. Me and Ted just spotted a buck with a doe over in a spot where we went yesterday evening. These thick sunflowers are about to move in 100 yards or so. So this decoy and trying to rattle. Last I saw him, the doe was going to be between us and him. She was on this side. Yeah, which I like. Was she coming this way? Or she was just milling about and he's walking around. He'd go that way a little, then this way a little, and then that way a little. Okay. Um, but then he put his head down and I looked over at you to see where you were. Glass back over and I couldn't see him. I bet he's just going to be right over there. Let's see him. Just see the top of his rack moving around. It's really straight in line with those big grain bins. How far? 100 yards. Might be able to get out here and then either set up in that or we can, there's a little opening right here. If we can get into there, we'll probably will get chained. We got in here and made a setup close to where we could see that buck. Once we got to this little high spot, I could see him out there, 100 yards away. So we looped around and got set up with the decoy over here. Tried to call him in, and Nick thought he heard some grunting and crashed around over there. But nothing showed up. We sat there for 10 or 15 minutes. Decided to circle back around and get up on this high point where we can see it down in here a little bit better. There's a big drain that runs all the way up through this sunflower patch. We're gonna just slide in there and get set up where we can, if something does come into that drainage, maybe we'll see the decoy and come in. Otherwise, we'll be able to see him going across there. We were in there last night and saw one nice buck and a bunch of does that were using that drainage. So we know that's where they like to travel. It's always right around that thing, it seems like. So we're just gonna dive in there. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning, so hoping for some good 10 and two movement there. <laughs> to the right, different buck. That's not the one I just saw. Nope. That's one of the ones we were after to start. How far was he from that second buck? Was he good ways this way? He was this side of him.
Tarsal gland action. A little tarsal gland. We got from our buddy Jacob, who we're sharing camp with. He shot one yesterday, so we went ahead and got a tarsal gland off the buck that he shot. And this will probably be its one chance to pull something in for us, because it's going to be spoiled after that. You can smell it in the bag. Maybe it'll cover us down when. Yeah, maybe. We just got to remember, if we get up and move, we can even pick it up and keep throwing it in front of us. <laughs> Grab it by the knife and yeah. just carry it with us. Is that Mac? Really good. Got some of Ted's fresh back straps here, or maybe it might be uh, it might be yours too. I think it's a mix, right? Jake and Quiet. <laughs> These are Jake's. They're good. Fresh yesterday, so pretty sweet. What do you think, Cole? I think we're gonna kill tomorrow. Pretty usual. I think we'll get on them. Found quite a few good ones today. Now we're getting we're getting fueled up. And we'll get a good night of sleep and go find one in the morning. Saw one today with a double main beam. Saw a couple drop other. Time. A couple other good candidates. Jake saw a drop time. Jake and Quiet's the man with the plan over here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> trying to get after it. Oh, let's just see what Nick's doing. What are you doing over here, loner? <laughs> I just clean, absolutely cleaned my plate, and I'm watching the Texas football game on my laptop. While everybody else socializes, I'm over here by myself watching the game. But they're winning right now, so all things are good. It's a good way to end a good day. We just uh, got some clarification on some footage from this morning on a buck that me and Ted saw, and he's very big. we got that double main beam. Very working. big deer, yeah, huge double main beam. Just a wickedly cool deer, so hopefully somebody can get in there and see here in the next day or so. I really enjoy that. But I'd, I'd enjoy it if we went in there and saw that half rack deer and, and we killed him. Yeah, me too. Me personally. But a lot of good candidates running around. Plenty of candidates, seems like. And it should just only get better. I mean, yesterday there was a ton of rut activity. Today it was a little slower, but it was warmer. We're hoping just here in the next two, four, five days, whatever it may be, it really kind of kicks off and it gets a little wild and western. That's what we're really looking for. So that's all we got for tonight. I'm gonna stand right here in this spot for the next two hours probably and watch this game or until it gets out of hand and then I'll probably socialize. But other than that, I'm here. So. All right, we'll know where to find you. Yeah.